Okay, guys, a lot of you aren't going to believe this, and I've spent a lot of time over the years talking to people about it, and uh, they argued with me, but I'm here to tell you, and we're going to talk about today, using a, a light stick, like I call the speed stick, uh, that you'll see in the video. You use a light, you warm up uh, before you hit training fast with a light speed stick. Uh a thin rod with a sliding balls basically is superior to a heavy on deck bat or the ring or or a weighted bat research shows bat speed is higher after light normal implements while heavy warm up ups often slow the first swing and disturb your pattern the sliding ball forces true fast acceleration in the hitting zone exactly what a fast twitch performance requires basically it boils down to your training your fast twitch muscles now i'm not going to go through this and talk over all this stuff you look in the uh the write-up i got i got all uh, i'll have it very well said in there you don't have to listen to my boys you can uh, read it uh, but I, I'm going to go through here and show you about this stick and, and, and tell you that maybe you ought to think of changing. But, you know, my philosophy is all day. It works for you. It works for you. But uh, we're talking about research here. So uh, enjoy. Hey, guys, uh, you know, I, I, I got a video on this speed stick. I want to tell you, first of all, I'm no connection to these guys at all. And, and the reason I started this speed stick versus uh, that heavy bat and the heavyweight, I was working out in this field. You know, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago. But a guy named Harry, Harry Stewart, the local guy, is a trainer around here and a good softball player and, a, and and really hits a lot of home runs, small guy. He says, Ed, you want to more focus on your fast twitch muscles rather than, you know, uh, I don't know what you call them other muscles, but the fast twitch muscles. And uh, this is what does that. And, and um, a Gary, Gary Benton, the local legend around here, uh, he did a, a, a couple of good takes on this. I'm going to let him show that. But if you want to, you know, the, the best thing for me is when I'm in a game and, you know, you can't take batting practice before the game, but you can take a swing like that and you take a couple of swings like that, it's like hitting a the ball. There's nothing better in my mind. But uh, it's an individual thing. But as an artist that I am, this is a part of my artwork. <laughs> Attack. Yep. How's that feel? Feels good. I get to, you get to tell you, it tells you when you're just lagging your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you get to be aggressive, it snaps out there. There you go. You feel the difference there? Yep. Now that's that that helps increase your bat speed. The other one helps your, your your mechanics. What I should have said on this slide is the ball is at the end uh, of the start of the swing here. See the ball is, if you stationary the ball back at the end of the rod and you work on that, you know, that increases your bat speed. And that's similar to, a, you know, the end load, obviously. So you're duplicating uh, what you do in in real time so uh well in closing i'll tell you i've used the speed stick for years and i believe in it will it guarantee greatness <laughs> no nothing does that but my philosophy hasn't changed in 60 years if it moves the needle in training i'm in staying in the game means adapting mm -hmm. mechanics routines even the way we warm up oh, father times takes some of our raw strength that's life. What we can control is intent, timing, and how quickly we, we create speed in the zone. The speed stick helps me train that. Try it, measure it, and keep what works. It's not magic. It's a smart tool to help you keep competing. This is just uh, a recommendation from me, and uh, uh, most of the club agrees with uh, the theory. Uh, I'm read the description and all the research in it. Thank you. Illegal, oh, you might have heard the fence here a little too flat. A little too flat. Nope.
Another shot hit in the direction of the left fielder Armitage, and he's just going to stand and watch that one go. And boy, it looks like that. Oh, you might have heard That's the pitch there a little too flat. A little too flat. Nope. Another shot hit in the direction of the left fielder Armitage, and he's just going to stand and watch that one go. And boy, it looks like.